Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another update on the theme park. Now before I show you guys what I've done here today, I want to go ahead and say that on Sunday I'm going to have a channel update. Uh, some things are going to change with my schedule. Uh, it's with the Scrap Mechanic schedule and all that. I'm recording really late tonight, so if I sound tired, uh, my work schedule has recently changed, so I'm going to have to switch some days around, but I'll talk about that on Sunday. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out what I've done here. Now, you guys have been absolutely fantastic about sending me stuff. And if you don't see your things or your rides, your stalls, anything that you've sent, if you don't see it in this episode, it's probably because I haven't gone through it yet. Now, I'm not going to be able to use everything because I have to think about the frames and what's going to happen here, but I'll try to go through as much as possible. Now, not much has changed up here at the front. Uh, the fountain has actually changed. You can see I've got an inner fountain now. I really wish we could have some sort of water in scrap mechanic because the glass looks good, but I think if we had like water pouring over, that would look even better, but pretty happy with the way that came out. Now, if you recall last episode, we had a Ferris wheel here. That wasn't mine. I still haven't gotten around to building my Ferris wheel, but I've got the uh, station and the platform. Everything's in place right now. I just got... I have to actually build the wheel. But over here to the right, I finished this ride uh, last episode. It was having some issues. It wasn't quite turning right. The only thing I've not done on it yet, I need to fill this sign out. I'm not really sure what I want to call it. Uh, I did change the colors. I did finish the station. This should be up on the workshop. So if you'd like to download this, it'll be the complete ride. And it'll probably be about to right there on the station. So that's a really cool ride. Over here, I'll explain this here in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to some of the new areas. Now, before we go over to this area over here, you can see some new rides. I want to go ahead and cover a new area that I built. Uh, a lot of these theme parks right in the center, they always have their center ride, which is going to be a Ferris wheel, and they'll have like a midway. And that's what I've started back here. Now, I've got everything from, I've installed the pizza stall. I've got a new, well, it's not really a feature or anything. It's, it's a bathroom. I just want to try to make this look as realistic as possible. Uh, ignore the pixel art back there. I'm just working with some signs that I'm hopefully going to put up around the park. I've got a little pavilion in here. You've got a little concert stage, some benches, just an area where people can walk around, sit down, eat. I plan on putting more food stalls up and down here. I've got a new gift shop, which is absolutely awesome. And I've got a game. This was actually donated by somebody. I'll uh, talk about that here in a second. Let's go ahead and check out the gift shop first. This is the gift shop. Now, it looks... Well, the T looks a little strange. I didn't want to extend that out, but I think the sign actually looks okay. I actually think the building looks good. I wanted to do a little bit different color scheme than the start, so I added some white in here. I think that looks good. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and travel in here. You've got... Nice little area. Now you're going to notice something. I know the first thing people are going to say is why is there a bunch of tote bot heads in here? And I'll explain that because that goes along with that wall out there. But yeah, I've got some little hangers, uh, just little racks here, some clothes. I've got a behind the counter area here. You've got some cash registers. I really was struggling to find stuff to put in here. So I, you're going to see a lot of ducks, a lot of tote bot heads, a bunch of random things. Just stuff that you might find at a scrap mechanic theme park. You know, I'm really not sure what you're going to find here, to be honest. Uh, just thinking about it, you know, I want this to look like a real theme park, but I also want it to have that scrap mechanic twist to it. Uh, you've got a little queue line here. So, say if it's really busy in here, you would go up here, line up, and wait for one of the uh, registers to open. Over here, you got some plants, uh, some jars of something. I don't know, there's... These gift shops, there's always tons of little knickknacks and novelty items, clothing. Uh, heck, I even have some shoes in here. But yeah, I just figured this was one of the things on the list that I needed to take care of. And what better place to put it at than right in the center where all the other shops are going to be. So, yeah, this area isn't done. I plan on extending these paths up, adding some more food stalls, some games in here. I think it's going to look really good once it's done. Alright, this is our first game that we've received. This is by Noob, and to be honest with you, I didn't know how this worked at first. 
I was looking at it, I was like, okay, we've got these ducks. Do we hit them? Do we throw them? And there's a little spinning platform back there. Now let me go ahead and turn this thing on real quick. Uh, I do have it welded to the ground. I need to add some more supports under here. I'm trying to keep everything off the ground. That way it minimizes collisions out here. But yeah, let's go ahead and turn the ride on, or the game. Let's see, there it goes. Okay, what you're gonna do here, now this is where I was confused. Uh, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna go ahead and cut these little blocks. You'll have to reset this every time. And the objective of the game is, he's got those sensors setting there, so you're gonna hit these ducks with the hammer and try to hop them up on those little platforms and a little sound will go off, so... Let's go ahead and do this a couple times here. Oh, okay, that was a bad, that was a bad hit. Let's go ahead and try it again. Oh, I'm terrible at this. There we go, nope. Uh, let's try a little softer here, see if I can just catch it. Nope, nope, and... Oh, that was close. Come on. Alright, you know what, I need another try there, that isn't... I, I did this earlier, and I was really happy because I got two ducks on, and now... Of course, when I'm going to record the video, I'm not going to get any ducks on. So let's go ahead and reset this one more time. Uh, you would just have to go back and do this. Uh, it'd probably be good to delete those ducks once you're through because that's just a bunch of loose objects in the world. And the game doesn't seem to like that. So let's go ahead and delete these real quick. And we're going to try one more time here, see if we can get a duck on. All right. Boom. No. Oh, oh, we got one. That was close. That was really close. Come on. Come on. No. You know, you can play this two ways. You can try to lightly tap them and see if you can pop them on, or you can pop them off the back wall. So let's try this again. Oh, that was really close. You know, these games are all rigged anyways. Nope. Well, you know what? I'm not going to get one on there. So basically, let me go ahead and set off the sensor real quick. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and stop that. I think it'll go off here. But yeah, once you land on, you'll hit that and the uh, sound will go off, but really cool game. I'm really excited to see stuff like this sent to me, so that's going to sit there. I want to thank Noob for that. That's awesome. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out the other rides. Now, this ride over here is a Scrambler, and I actually was sent one of these, and I haven't checked it out yet, but this is the one that I built. This is similar to the one in, I think it was Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. It was called Scrambled Eggs, and I was instantly thinking about that ride. Now, I do believe that one has an extra set of seats here, but with this thing being as big as it is, I decided just to do the single row of seats because the controllers were starting to, like, sag really hard. I mean, you can already see they're sagging. This ride, actually, when it starts to spin, it picks momentum up, and the uh, chairs will actually raise up. It's actually really cool. So, let's go ahead and start this. Now... Let me go ahead and show you where the controllers are, show you where everything's hooked up. Everything started over here. Now this is where I've been debating on how I'm going to do my rides. Now these are all controlled from in this little control room, so the one key is going to lock the uh, safety bars down. Oh, I don't know what that was. Okay. Not entirely sure what that was, maybe it's just resetting, but yeah, you're going to hit this other key. And here we go, the ride's going to start up. That is awesome. Now it picks up momentum and the bars, they start to raise up at different levels. They're not all in sync, so you'll notice slight differences in them. Let's see if I can hop on here. Uh, nope, there we go. I can't believe I actually made it on there. That was awesome. But yeah, this is a fun, simple little ride. I haven't moved on to the really advanced rides right now, but I think this actually looks good and it works really good. Now, the downside, to doing these to controllers and it's the same way with the ride over there when you do these rides okay they're gonna they're gonna cycle through and we'll go ahead and turn this off and it's gonna finally cycle through and it's gonna turn off and everything's gonna go into its resting spot but with the controller I believe it's gonna want to reverse here so it's gonna do a little bit of a settle here and it's gonna stop here any second now actually you know it's in its cycling back part so when you hit it the first time it's gonna cycle through and then it's gonna rest when you hit it again it's gonna start over again and do everything in reverse and that's the problem with the controllers 
another method to control these rods would actually to have like a seat here and power these with electric motors. That way you can start and stop it with the seat. But to me that's not as good because you can, you know, you, with the controller you can set it to do what you want and you don't have to worry about controlling the ride itself manually. But the only downside is when you hit the switch, it's gonna reverse whatever you've done with the controller. So that's the only downside I've seen to having these rides the way that I have them. But they're still cool and they still work, so I'm really happy with the way that one came out. I'll stick this one on the workshop. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the uh, first ride. But yeah, on to the next two rides. Now, these were donated by Retrospects. Uh, if you recall, Retrospects, I've played with him before several times. I've featured a couple of his creations. I think it was the Monster Truck Batmobile and I think like a really big, big rig. But yeah, he sent me two rides. I've got a teacup ride and I've got a little spinning ride over there. Now, these are controlled differently than the way I do them or the way I do my rides. I do mine on controllers. He does his by using a seat here, so go and open those up real quick. There's the gates. He uses a lot more color than I do, and I probably should do this because, I mean, this ride is just absolutely colorful. Now, I do believe these two rides were actually one ride. He had like a mega carousel or something. Like, it was multi-tiered, and it was just huge. And I think you split them up. That way we can have a couple smaller rides. So definitely want to thank him for letting me use these. Uh, I will put his channel in the description. So if you want to check that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this up. We're going to hit the two buttons here. And there we go. Now you can see the teacups are spinning one way. The uh, carousel part's spinning the other. Really cool. Let me go ahead and see if I can hop into one of those. I like this. I still don't like the whole fact that Scrap Mechanic's camera doesn't actually follow the head, so it kind of looks like our head's doing the exorcist thing and we're just spinning in place. But still really awesome ride. I was going to do teacups anyways because that was one of the uh, requested rides from the uh, last episode. But I'm really happy with what he's done here and I want to thank him for letting me use these. Now I do want to change this area up uh, to maybe represent him a little better. So I think he's going to send over some pixel art and we'll change this little area up and make sure you guys know that these are his rides. Okay, this is the other ride that he sent me. Now this ride isn't in its final place. I don't even think the teacups are in their final place. Like I said, he's going to send over some pixel art and I really want to maybe build him a little section of the park. Maybe use some of his channel colors. Uh, anytime like, a channel like that is going to donate to the park. I want to make sure that they're well represented in the park so when you guys download this map and go play around in it you'll know who built what. But yeah let's go ahead and try this one out. This one's controlled here from the start so we're going to hit these two buttons here and I believe these are on yep electric engines. This might be the way to go I don't know and oh this one spins really fast let's see do we get another button here? Ah the three key whoa that is crazy. I don't think I've actually seen this one go. That is really fast. I don't think I'd like this in real life. Let's try to hop on here, see if we can get in one of these seats. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. Oh no, no, I don't think I'd like this at all. I don't, I'm not particular for spinning. And that seems like about what every ride does now, except for roller coasters. And yeah, I'm not sure I'd like this, but this is absolutely awesome. I need to find a place for this in the park. I think I'm going to stick his rides, like I said, really close together that way, kind of keep his theme going here. Yeah, we're going to shut those off. Now, I know you guys have been sending me a lot of stuff. I still need to go through all of that. I'm really backlogged because the response was, oh, I thought I'd turn that off. Oh, well. Yeah, the response has been great. Like, it was way more than I thought it was going to be. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to see if you guys want to, you know, you want to donate some stuff here and there and then next thing I know I had like 20 emails of different rides just tons of different things to look at so I'm still gonna go through those I have to be a little bit picky because the whole fact of all the bearings that are gonna be in the park uh, I'm worried about lag right now it's running absolutely fantastic and I think that what I'm doing here with the paths and keeping everything separate is gonna work but I still have to be really careful 
But yeah, the last thing I want to go over real quick is it's really just a wall. Now, if you remember my farm bot episodes, I had a big farm bot factory, had a big wall outside of it. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing back here. I'm going to do certain themes in the park. That way I can break up. That way it's just not all just a normal park. So I think I'm going to do some some sort of farm bot theme back here. Uh, maybe like a Apocalypse City. Some of you guys were suggesting some really awesome stuff to do with the farm bots. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I've got a lot of things to do around here. But yeah, that's what I've got so far with the park. I think we are making some great progress on this. I'm still testing out some things. You can see a little rail over here. I've been testing out either a monorail or some sort of roller coaster. I don't want to show you guys the cart yet. I want to kind of save some stuff as a surprise. But yes, this world will be available to download. It'll be in the description. Like I said, I want to thank Retrospects and Noob for donating items to the park. It's absolutely awesome. And I will still be accepting more items. I'll flash my email up on screen. It's just going to take me a little bit to get through them. And like I said, I'm not going to be able to take everybody's items and put them in the park, but I will definitely look at them and see if they will fit in there. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, comment below any themes that you'd like to see, any rides, any stalls, anything. Anything that you think will fit in a park, comment below, let me know. And that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode, guys. Now, the next couple of days, I'm going to have some probably random games. Uh, we're going to be doing a stream later on today, or at least we should be, if all goes according to plan. And then we'll set up for a, another challenge video. And then we'll swing back around. I should have another update on this park soon. I'll address my scheduled changes in the channel update. But anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.